Well, amen. If you have your Bibles, grab them today and turn with me to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8. It's going to sound a little weird. Matthew, chapter 8. Before I get into it, uh, I neglected. I neglected to embarrass them this morning, but I'm so thankful that uh, Andy and Amanda Brummel are here with us today, uh, visiting from Michigan, and uh, so thankful for you guys, and uh, just praise God. Andy was actually a part of uh, you can blame Andy. He was part of the search committee that brought me here, and so uh, you all can blame him partially. And so, yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, no, I'm just so thankful. So thankful for you guys. You guys, glad you guys are here this week. But Matthew chapter eight, we're going to pick up in verse 23. Read, read with me God's word. It says, "And when he got into the boat, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great storm on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by the waves." But he, Jesus, was asleep. And they went and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you afraid, O you of little faith? Then he rose and rebuked the winds and the sea. And there was a great calm. And the men marveled, saying, What sort of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? This is God's word. Let's pray. Father in heaven, I thank you so much for today. I thank you for my brothers and sisters. I thank you so much for the encouragement that they are to me. And God, I pray, God, now as we turn our hearts to your word that you would encourage us. And God, I thank you so much for your word that it is living, it is active, it is powerful, it is sharper than any two-edged sword. And Lord, I pray, God, that it would...